well, we got a few issues to fix on this one. The one is it wasn't, it was start and it would immediately shut off. And I talked to him on the phone and I said, it's probably low coolant. The D deck shuts it down as soon as it detects there's not enough coolant. So you start it and it dies right away. And that's what it was. He added coolant to it and it leaked out again right away. There was nothing leaking by the engine. Turns out he found the uh, coolant leak way up front in one of the bays. So he filled it up with enough coolant to get it over here. We had him look at these uh, valves that shut off to the front of the bus, but the cooling loop, he turned them off and it was still leaking coolant out of the engine part. So those valves don't control where it was leaking at. So he's gonna bring it in, we're gonna take a look at it here. We find the coolant leak. It's way back behind a kitchen cabinet where it disappears behind a bathroom wall. Very inaccessible spot. So something has chewed through that. Couldn't be in a worse spot. All right, so we're, we're cutting with a razor knife here. We're cutting that line. Um, we can't get to the part behind the bathroom wall, so we're cutting it. We're gonna slide a three quarter inch uh, copper pipe through the hose and then put hose clamps on it. So it's going through the section beyond where the chewing was at. And then we can put this pipe on here, hose clamps on it, and it's gonna seal it. Um, and you know we're gonna leak test it here and hopefully it should be good for quite a while. We definitely gotta get some stuff in here to take care of the rodents so we don't have any more rodent damage. Yeah, mix for your supper, <laughs> before Lance has purple running down his armpit. It's gonna happen. <laughs> if I can lift my arms. If I had that, I developed, you have one too, I'm sure. I built a pump system, Harbor Freight pump system. I just put it all, I pour it all into one down there and turn it on. You're like color coordinated right now. Is that a purple one? No, you're holding a purple bottle, but you got a gray shirt on and, and like, the bus is purple. Yeah, the bus has the purple. Oh, <laughs> but like your gray shirt is like almost the same color as and like ends at the same point and then you're it's you're camouflaged. <laughs> so gallon number two over your head. How are your arms feeling, Lance? No shake yet. <laughs> this is twenty-four years of Air Force, that's okay, but the twenty-four years of paper and gloves <laughs> over these hands. I don't know. I'm feeling it in my chest more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reason you were at the top of the hill when I got here today? <laughs> Lance, uh, oh, now I'm feeling it. <laughs> oh, God. Feel the burn. <laughs> Strongest man competition. <laughs> It's getting lighter as you empty it, it is, though. But this is a young man's game. <laughs> but see, I couldn't even trade out with Jonathan, though, to take off a break. <laughs> can't do either of them. The bus is purple, too. Oh. <laughs> Shower time. You only got 20 of those to do. Well, the water will be lighter. Yeah. Special thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. These get shipped right to your door. They are fresh meals, pre-portioned, pre-packaged, ready for you to cook right at home. So it is a delicious meal that you can make. They come with like recipe cards where everything's included in it. Everything's pre-packaged for you. It tells you how to bake it, how to make it. Some things are in the oven, some are on the stove. Uh, it's super easy to do and the meals are really, really delicious and it's all fresh ingredients. HelloFresh has many different menu styles to choose from, from meat and veggies, protein smart, vegetarian, pescatarian, calorie smart, carb smart. Dig into their biggest menu yet with 50 plus dinner options and even more market items that suit any healthy lifestyle. Plus start your day right with free breakfast for life. 
get one free breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. Plans change and life gets busy. That's why HelloFresh lets you easily customize your delivery from week to week. Mix and match lifestyle options to suit your needs. You can have more wholesome, family-friendly, quick and easy, uh, or other options. Everything can be tailored to your schedule by adjusting your delivery date, even skipping a week when you're not able to cook at home. As the seasons change, so do the seasonal menus. With summer in the rearview mirror and busy days ahead, we're all craving wholesome meals that can save us time and money. HelloFresh has something for everyone. Each box is fully customizable to fit your preferences and include pre-portioned ingredients so you only pay for what you need. Click our special Bus Grease Monkey link in the description below. Use my code GREASEOC10 and receive 10 free meals plus free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active if you're in the U.S. The link and code are valid in all countries and the respective local discount will apply. These meals really are good. We've been cooking them up here all week long. They are super easy to make. Everything's right there pre-done for you. All the instructions, they really do taste good. so soft. <laughs> Much faster flow rate. Yeah. It was so dirty, I didn't want to put it back in. The new one will be here in a couple days. That's enough to move it. Yeah. Alright, so Lance is going to blow out an air filter. <clears throat> <laughs> There's a little down on power. <laughs> you should see the top view looking down. <laughs> God, man, that's a cancer. That one. <laughs> yeah, that's like there's cancer on the ground right there. <laughs> It stinks, a special kind of stink, too. Oh my god. There's half of West, West Virginia coal mine in there. <laughs> For the record, I bought a new one, but it's gonna take four business days to get here, and I need to move the bus, so I wanted to just blow this out. <laughs> New definition for blowing it out. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah. Open your mouth. Try Very good to. idea. Yeah. Start it up. For the record, we don't work on generators, but our friends at the Flat River Band, they really can't travel without a generator on this bus, and they got a, a bunch of shows on their tour to do. So the radiator is leaking really bad on the generator, so we're going to replace the radiator. Got a little bit of fab work to do because the new radiator is a half inch wider and about an inch taller. And the way that this thing works in here, there's no fan on it, it sucks air through the bottom, so we got to make it fit nice and tight.
I notice this oil cap doesn't fit all the way on it, and it doesn't, I don't think the threads are the same, so I think it has the wrong cap on it, so I gave him the model number and, to look and order one off Amazon. We have to put this big shroud over it to force the air to go through the radiator, and then we're gonna go ahead and now add the coolant and make sure there's no leaks. Part the rubber off of these old airbags, and that's going to be our seal for the bottom of the radiator. All right, we're changing to a floor mat. It's rubber, like a door entry mat, um, rug type thing. It's, it's a rubber one, so it's real stiff. The airbag is just too curvy up under there, and it's not sealing right. I'm gonna grab a new blade. It's a lot tighter seal than we had when it got here. If you ever open it up, just make sure you push it back into good position. That should stay like that's tight. So I cut a piece of this pipe insulation that we're going to wrap around in here on the top to seal this top piece off so that the air has to go through the radiator and set it up on this side here. The old one didn't have that. There's a little bit of a gap. This should seal it up good. It's got a good seal now all the way across the top. So we've got the whole bottom sealed in good. And then when that goes back on there, it goes over that hole <clears throat> and then allows that big squirrel cage fan back there to suck from the middle of it and it blows it out so it's sucking the fresh air through this hole which then is forced up through here and goes through the radiator you have to you absolutely have to have this bay door closed to run this generator if you have the bay door open then you have no cooling on your radiator or uh, you yeah, know no air is forced through the radiator there's no individual fan on it itself. There's nothing back there. You kind of lose a whole bay with the generator in this kind of a setup. Um, if they were to put a regular fan, you still could use maybe 30, 40% of that bay. You gotta be careful you can't leave any like loose rags in there or anything because it might get sucked into that squirrel cage fan too. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> But it does its job. Yeah, we cocked up around the side. The cock gun wasn't cooperating, so I had to mostly do it by hand with the cock gun, which was not easy. Looks good. Let's seal it up, start her up. We ran the generator for an hour and then you know check the temperatures on it here and the thermostats are opening and closing and it's, it's staying cool so looks good to go okay. Okay. 